Well, we here we got a. Uh, uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit today about super heat. Now, uh, as you see, this is, is a set of gauges that I I got I got this about twenty years ago, and uh, it, it still showed the R twelve and. Uh, 502 and R22. Uh, I don't think they're, they don't make any more like this. Like I said, this thing is about, I would say, about 20 years old. Yeah, this one I bought. I think I bought about 30 or something. Well, well over here, in the outside, you can see 502 scale on the outside. And inside over here for vacuum, the green, the R12. Okay, 502. And the green, when uh, the system go into vacuum, and you see the, you know, I kind of, I still kind of uh, like to use, I use it when I, for vacuum, and uh, if I have to leave it overnight, and, and, I still use it, but even now it's still working. Um, you know, the, the one you get today, it's like, uh, you know, you pay $150, and, uh, you know, they, they leak. Six, seven months later, they, they start leaking. This one over here is an article, I don't know how, like I say, like at around 20 years. Okay, nice. Still not nice, nice and green. The scale for a vacuum, and pretty cool stuff. It's okay. Uh, now we're gonna talk about super heat today. This is you know that's what I'm gonna be, and you're gonna see all the way around the scale uh, psi. See all the black scale PSI. And the new gauge today, they have uh, the PSI and the outside. And I just happened to look into it, really. And uh, as you see it now, okay, the R22 you, it's, now it's green. Back then, I guess it was it was kind of blue okay and in this case yeah r22 scale is still the same but it's got a different color with this with this gadget over here um and uh okay so so now we know psi the black one okay and the inside just take a look at this guy the one inside is for the R22. We're going to be working with the R22. Now, let's say you walk into a job and you get a 68, 69, right? If you look straight down over here, it will be 68 will put you and the 40 degrees. So, the R22 and a 60A with this table or gauge will be 40 degrees, a 60A PSI. The temperature of the freezer will be 40 degrees. Okay. How you do a superheat? Now, you get this number. Uh, you get this number over here. Right, 40 degrees right there, you see in the bottom right, right, right here. Yeah, 40 degrees. And you go take the temperature of the suction line. And let's say that the superheat of 12. Okay, as simple as that, guy. You get this number over here. If, you, if, it, if it, the gauge is reading 68 psi, but you look straight down. And that's going to put you in the R20. If you're working with R22, 
it's going to put you at 40 degrees, okay? Right? Now, you get that? That's the number you're going to work, 40 degrees. And you're going to minus that number with the temperature that you get in the suction line. So for that, you got to connect the thermometer and the suction line con tape or clap on and read those temperatures and you minus 40 degrees and that will give you the superheat. Huh? It cannot get simple as that, guy. It cannot get simple as that. It's so easy. People upstairs, they're still having a little bit of hard time um, get to the superheat mode. Okay? And what superheat does is, guy, it lets you know what's going on inside the system. Okay? If it's too much liquid, if it's not enough liquid, you know, and uh, it, it, it gives you, it lets you know a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay? Now, if you get, let's say you get a, if you get a, a high superheat, okay, you get a high superheat, that's telling you that the it's not enough refrigerant in the system. Okay, low superheat it means too much. Okay, it means too much too much refrigerant in the system. It's it's too much liquid, which is not good because you might be getting liquid back to the compressor. And uh, that's the main problem over time. Okay? And uh, again, look for this number over here. And this area, pretty much, uh, you know, up here in Connecticut, average temperature 70, 80, you know, in a normal day over here, nothing crazy. So you're looking for unos. You're looking for the number like a 68 PSI, and uh, that will push you like a 40, 40 degree temperature in your in your fridge. Okay, so you get the temperature in the suction line minus 40. Okay, and uh, it could be a little bit left. It could be a little bit more. Well, it's it's fine. Long as you in the ballpark, seventy, you know, uh, seventy, eighty, you'll be okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna do one more. Uh, yeah, we we're gonna take it from there. See how it, how it goes. Okay. <laughs>